Hello everyone, this is Alfadi. Welcome back to another video, another short video, I may add, of this particular um, interesting series that we call Hafs versus Warsh. And we've given you enough information so far as to why we have called it this way. And we've uh, gave you enough evidence so far and examples of why, because we are comparing the way one reader by the name Hafs, represented by this green Quran right here next to Jay, versus the reading of another gentleman by the name Warsh, represented in this copy next to me. And we are looking at these words in these verses, how Hafs pronounce it, how Warsh pronounce it. We're helping you hear the sound, but also we're showing you the English translation of these different sounds. Obviously, the translators did not look at it as the same, Otherwise, they would have translated it exactly in the same way, grammatically speaking. Same tense, they would have uh, 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 translated it in the same mode, they would have translated it in the same way to mean the same thing, but obviously the translators did not look at it that way, they were seeing it differently. Today, we're going to look at another verse from chapter 2, this time it's verse 140. Okay, Jay? Yeah, now remember, what we said at the very beginning, we've always said this, when the manuscripts were first written, there were no dots in them. Mm -hmm. And so you take a letter like this letter right here, it's just a little smiley face, and Huffs looked at that and he put two dots above it. So you can see the two dots there where I'm pointing. And you can see that the two dots make it a T. Over Warsh, however, in Egypt, he looked at the same smiley face, because that's all he had. There were only 16 letters in the seventh century. Now, by the time they look at this, there are 28 letters. So 12 letters have been added just by putting dots above and below line. Three dots above, two dots below. He decides to put two, the two dots below, which makes it a Y. So there is the Ya over here, there is the Ta there. Does that change the Arabic? Back to you. Yep, the Arabic of Hafsi reads Taquluna. And it's really a question, am taquluna, do you say, are you saying this? So who's Allah speaking to? He's speaking to somebody right now, right this minute, and you're saying, are you claiming this about Abraham, for instance, about Ishmael, about Isaac, about Jacob and the 12 tribes, that they were either Jews or Christians? Are you saying this? Versus Warsh is saying, someone else was saying, am yaquluna, not taquluna, yaquluna. Someone else is saying this. So what's what's the benefit here? <laughs> Are we reporting about people who made this claim? So what, why do I care if I'm not the one who's saying it? Or is it an attack now against me and our group? How dare you say something like this? I'm rebuking you now. There because you what benefit do I get if he's rebuking someone else? Depending on where you put these little two dots, above or below the line, you're going to make a difference on who the object is. In this case, it could be the you. And interestingly, the you here is plural, or they, that would change the significance, that would change the meaning. We're not going to say at this point that this is a doctrinal difference, but nonetheless, those that are doctrinal differences, I like to see what Muslims are going to come up with, and who is it, and who are these two guys? How can Hafs and Warsh, who are not even of the ten readers, these are not the Kirat readings, these are nothing more than the students, the narrators. So these are much more insignificant when it comes to importance, yet they are the two most important in the world today. Yeah. Depending where you put the dots, folks, will change the meaning. And Jay, I want to I wanna hit it from another angle. You have the chart right here. What date was Hafs? Hafs is 796. What date was Warsh? Warsh is 812. I mean, it's still 800. 812, 796. Muhammad received the crown for the first time in 610. 610. 610 to 812. How many years? 200 okay. years, roughly. And the same thing with 790, uh, 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 798, you said? 7, 796. 796. And then Muhammad died in 632, almost the same distance. So which one of these readings did Gabriel bring down to Muhammad first? <laughs> you can't. There, there's no way to answer that. Are you telling me Gabriel predicted 
that Hafs is going to be the standard, so he brought it down and then later became the standard? Well, obviously he forgot something for 144 years. And obviously, when him finally Hafs decided to put the two dots, in this case, above the line, how did he know to put those two dots there? Was he, did he get a special injunction? Did, was Hafs he... from Quraysh? No, Hafs is from Kufa. Was Warsh from Quraysh? No, Warsh is not, he is from Cairo. But I'm confused. Didn't Bukhari say that Uthman says when there is an agreement, choose the Qureshi dialect? You have to choose the Qureshi, which is Mecca in Medina, which is the Hejaz. These are hundreds of miles away, about 1,800 miles in one, I'm sorry, kilometers, hundreds of kilometers, almost over a thousand kilometers away. You guys, you see the problem, right? You see why we're asking these questions. You see why we're calling it two Qurans, Hafs versus Warsh. And we haven't touched the service yet. We've shown you probably a handful of examples. There is 5,000 such differences. You tell me, which one of them was in a preserved tablet and which one basically was revealed from Allah through Gabriel to Muhammad and from Muhammad to his companions? That's the million dollar question, Jay. Isn't it great? This is so much fun. And it's so good to have an Arab speaker who understands the Arabic. I do it, I'll make a look a fool like myself. But when you do it, I won't see any Muslim that can now confront what you have just said. There is the visual. We've shown you the, the material. We've shown you the Arabic. We've shown you the translation. And we've shown you the significance. But you need to decide. And Muslims, you need to decide. How can this have come from God? How could this have come from Muhammad? How could this have come from Uthman when all of these are hundreds of years later? 796 for Hafs. 812 for Warsh. Kufa for Hafs. Cairo for Warsh. These are hundreds of miles away and hundreds of years different. Are we starting to see a pattern here? Absolutely. A pattern about later time, a pattern about further north. Further north and further away. Yes. Thank you, brother. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Until next video, have a blessed day. <laughs>